Now guys, in this one, I wanna go through some of the best Shopify themes that are completely free to use. So for this year, there are a bunch of free themes. You can upload these, you can edit these, make them really unique, but the best part about them is they are completely free to use. So you can basically set up your Shopify store by just downloading one of these themes and getting straight into it. And that's what we're gonna do, we'll just get straight into the video. I will leave some more information in the description so you can go and check that out. I'll leave some links that might be interesting and some more information in the description. Apart from that, let's just get stuck into the first one, which is debut. So debut is a super flexible theme and you can basically use this even if you don't have a lot of products, but if you do have a lot of products, it can work for you too. They really call this debut because this is one of the main themes that you're gonna get when starting out with Shopify. Because of that, it's really easy to customize this theme and it can start small and grow with you. So even if you don't have a ton of products right now, it will still look really good. And then as you fill out your site, if you do want more products, it's also gonna have no issues whatsoever in adding those in. It's really easy to rearrange everything when using Debut. Actually, if you just wanna start a store using your smartphone and you don't have a computer or you know you just don't wanna do that, you wanna start a store really quickly, you can actually use Debut on your smartphone, set up your store. I've got some more tutorials on that if you wanna check those out. Just look through my videos or maybe I'll put them in the description as well. But Debut is really customizable and you can edit it right on your smartphone. If you are on a computer though, you can look between these two different styles. Basically one is called default and one is called light. And you can just see how different styles can actually really change the look and feel of a website. One of the things I like most about Debut really is that it's just not really offensive and it's not too salesy. It looks really nice and pleasant and welcoming as a site. And of course you do have the store there as well to put all your products in. This store honestly looks completely different to an actual store, like this is not Amazon. Most stores and businesses that are gonna be using Shopify are kind of more boutique-y style, kind of uh, not as just mass market as something that you'd find on Amazon. And so this type of theme I think really goes well with most businesses that want to actually use Shopify to sell items. Not only can you start your store on here, list your products on here, and it's obviously really simple for the user. It just has that big item up there, shop, and then you can go to shop, but you have that homepage as well, where you can really just promote your story and your brand. Because obviously if you're a boutique store, maybe some people coming to your site won't really know who you are, but having that welcome page as a really bold statement, I think is a really great thing. All of the other pages are already here for you. Very simple to edit. You can just put your own information in there. They look really great. It's simple, it's clean, it's modern. I also like the mobile layout as well. And actually, to be honest, all of these themes, they're just made for mobile and computer as well. So you can just click between them, see what they're gonna look like on mobile. Obviously, this one is customizable as well, but it just switches between the two really simply. And it's a great theme, it's completely free. Next one on the list is called Simple. This is also completely free and it does what it says on the tin. This is a very simple website. There's no fuss. It just has your products on there ready to go. There are actually three styles that are included in this theme. So you can choose between them. And as I said, you can edit little bits here and there as well to make it really unique for you. What I really like about this theme though is that you get product recommendations and you can get this through Shopify apps. So if your theme doesn't have recommendations built in, then you can go and download an app and put those on your site. Some are free, some are paid, but with this theme, it's free and you get the product recommendations right there built in. The downsides on this one may be that it's like too simple for a lot of stores. You know, if you are a type of brand that really relies on your brand story, maybe you have a product or some sort of unique uh, selling point that you really wanna communicate to an audience and you really, really wanna build a rapport and uh, a brand with your audience, maybe this one isn't for you because it doesn't really have that. It literally is, hey, here's the products, come and buy them. If you are that type of store though, maybe you're a drop shipper or maybe all of your brand management is done on social media and other things like that and you really just need a simple store that can be managed maybe by someone else or very simply managed, just literally upload product pictures. Customers know exactly what they're getting. They come onto the theme and yeah, they're ready to buy a product. I also like the way it showcases the products. I just think it's laid out well. It looks really bold, clean and modern. And I just really like the layout in general. 
It also has those links to social media right there next to the uh, actual product. So people can share these really easily. That might create some engagement for you. And yeah, the product reviews being built in, it's just one less thing you have to worry about. You don't have to download apps or get some paid apps to do that for you. Completely different to simple. The other side of this is this free theme called narrative. And the name again gives it away. If you are a brand that needs to tell a story and a lot of your brand image, and maybe you only have a couple of products, maybe you're just a, uh, an inventor or someone who just makes custom items and you only have a few things that you make, you really need to tell the story of those products. This is a theme for you. I really like the way that you get these massive images on the site. They're called hero images. They're just huge and they just draw people right into basically looking at more of your site, looking at your story and your company. And this might be something that specific businesses might really want. I would say this theme is best if you only have a few products and you, you concentrate on a few high ticket items because there isn't really a store option with this. The way that you go to a product page is by clicking those links to find out more. So it's definitely not a store like, a, like an Amazon with tons of products and categories. It really is a small company website sort of store. You have a few products. People really want to associate with those products, learn about those products. And there is a buy option, but that's almost not really the idea of the store in general. It's more about telling the story of those products. So this might be really good for specific businesses. You get four styles in this one as well, which I think is really cool. So this is pretty much the most amount of styles that you can get with any free theme on Shopify. I really like the link animations as well. So when you hover over a product, you get these kind of animations with the text. I think it's just a nice touch. It makes it look really professional, even though it's completely free. You can also put videos on this one, which is really great. So if you're a business that really needs to tell your brand story, you can link up YouTube videos. So just put a video on YouTube, doesn't even have to be public, it can be private, but you put the link there and then it's gonna play on your site. And it's just amazing to tell a story of a specific product. You can definitely add maybe 10, 15, 20 products though, no doubt, because basically when you go to a product page, all of your other products are gonna be listed underneath it. At least for the computer version, all of your products will be there. It's a little bit different for mobile, but you can see listing 10, 20 products is no issue. Definitely doesn't feel like a store like Amazon as such. Much more boutique-y, but as I said with Shopify, a lot of stores are like this and it may be really tailor-made for you. Next is Boundless. This is completely free too. And this theme focuses on images. So everything really is focused on great images. If it's product images or anything else, that's really gonna draw people into this theme. With Boundless, every single page has the menu in the top left that you can click. And then you can go to the different parts of the store if you have different categories or anything like that. Pretty much all of those links are gonna be in that menu. Other than that though, it's a really bold store because it's just big, it's got pictures everywhere of your product and that really is the thing you need to showcase. There are two styles that come with this so you can choose between them. As I said, you can definitely change these to your liking as well. What I really like is that it cycles through images at the top of the site on the homepage. So maybe you've got two or three images that you wanna put there. It's gonna cycle through them automatically. If you've got a few products that you wanna showcase, absolutely perfect to put them up there and people can see those and then be drawn into the rest of the site. Also, if you're a store that has products for different categories, so maybe you're a clothing store and you have men's, women's and kids, then that's really good for that menu in the left. You can just click on that and then all of those categories are there because obviously those people are gonna be different. You're gonna have to categorize your products. It's perfect to lay them out in that menu. It's really clean and simple, doesn't get in the way until you click on it and then you can just go exactly where you need to. I think this is really good looking, this theme. It really stands out, the product stands out, it looks modern and bold, and you're really just showcasing the thing that you want people to actually do, which is buy your products. You also have the add to cart right there in the product pages, and that header bar is always there on mobile, so whenever you need to navigate away from that page, super easy, people just know how to navigate this on mobile. Click that menu and it will take you wherever you want. I would say this one is like a half and half store. Not if you're a huge store, you might wanna use it, but if you're like a middle-sized store with a middling amount of products, might be absolutely perfect. But anyway, we move on to the next one, which is supply. And this 
is a theme for stores with a lot of inventory. So if you've got a lot of products, a lot of SKUs, maybe you do drop shipping with Obelo or you're just a big store and you have a lot of different products, then this is absolutely perfect to basically showcase everything that you have. I know a lot of people on Shopify, maybe with Obelo, they'll go into accessories or phone cases or apparel. And you know, there's maybe hundreds of different products that you can sell. This theme may be for you. You can tell straight away from the theme that this is more of a store and a shop of a bigger company because instead of getting huge hero images and videos that maybe explore your brand a bit more, it literally is, hey, here are the products, you're here to buy it, let's go. I do like though that it does keep those bold images though of the products, which is exactly what you want. You wanna showcase those and the better that your products look, the more bold they are. I think it's just better in a modern era to have this. You can also see though that underneath those images and the main products, you have a large selection of items and also associated products. So if you haven't got a lot of items, maybe this isn't for you because it's kind of going to look blank there. But if you're a big store, you've got a lot of items like you can see, then yeah, it's for you. I also like that on the mobile site, when you switch to mobile, you still get those um, breadcrumb links so people know exactly where they are and they can just click on those really easily to go back to a different page. It's also amazing how different the theme looks when you switch from blue to light. They're the two styles you get with it. It's literally a completely different site. So it just shows you, you don't have to make it look exactly like this theme. You can definitely change it and it's gonna be really unique to your site. I would say this one is perfect for electronic stores, jewelry stores, accessory stores, anything like that. You have a lot of small ticket items. You need to list them all. You still want everything to look good though. This theme is pretty much for that. Let me move on to Venture, and this is another one for stores with more products or a big list of products. Any store that does have that, or again, if you are a dropshipper, this may be for you. You can just put a lot of different items on here and it's still gonna look good. You also get three different styles on here and you can see again, just changing between the styles, it's a completely different site. Even though the layout is basically the same, the colors, the themes, the images that are used, it's really unique three times over. What I really love about this theme in particular is just the big image at the top. I'm a sucker for big like hero images. I think it draws you in. It tells people exactly what your site is about straight away. It's really modern and professional, I think, but you can also have those categories at the top. So this is like a brand sort of site where you can tell people about it, but it also is, yeah, we're a store and you're here to buy some stuff. I also think this looks really good on the mobile theme when you switch it to that. And yeah, it's definitely a store. Great images, cool animations when you hover over things. But yeah, we're a store, we're here to sell you stuff. Maybe I'd like some reviews on here or some similar items, something like that. I guess you can get some Shopify apps for that if you wanted. So maybe a criticism of the theme that isn't warranted. All of these themes are fantastic, to be honest. They're completely free if you are with Shopify. There are more though, so I'll put some links below. You can check Shopify out and also these themes. Obviously, the one that's right for you is gonna be the best, not necessarily any on this list, but there are more. Check out my other tutorials for Shopify as well if you want more information. And send me a comment to let me know what you think of these themes. Other than that, best of luck with your store and your theme selection. That is it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.